We are the Asian Pacific Islander Faculty and Staff Association. A man shoved a 52-year-old woman to the ground outside a bakery in Queens. This breaking news comes tonight at a time when hate crimes targeting Asian Americans has skyrocketed. A pizza came out of the March shootings in Atlanta. On top of the anti-Asian violence that we were seeing, most of us in the Asian and Pacific Islander community were just really in a place where we were angry, we were hurt, we were scared. We just were in a place where we needed to talk to one another. I just reached out to Grace Rue of the East Asian Studies Center, who is a friend and colleague of mine and has been for the past 20 years or so, and asked her, hey, are you with me? Let's do this. We need to find space at USC for people who are feeling the same way as we are. I'm like, yeah, why don't we have something here at USC? We just said, well, why don't we just do it? We started with our own circle of colleagues, right? We just emailed people we knew. And then from there, it kind of snowballed. And in less than a year, we have 250 members. There obviously was a need. I joined USC Pizza because I needed to find my community during these times of heightened anti-Asian hate and violence. I uh, joined a Pizza because of the attacks in our API communities and the need for us to come together. Because when we unite, we can fight and when we fight, we can win. I joined APIFSA because I wanted solidarity and to provide support for my fellow API employees at USC. I joined APIFSA because visibility and allyship are important. And I hope that we can create more spaces for our voices and our stories to be heard. We have hosted a series of events already. Whether we're APIs or people of color, or you know, if we come from marginalized communities, we have this sense that we're not enough. If you want to really shake things up, that's when you need the unity established across all ethnic communities. We've already been asked to uh, participate in different panel discussions and conferences. The Professional Development and Networking Committee organized a colleague to colleague program. The glass ceiling for us doesn't look like a slab of glass. It actually is more like a haze of air pollution and stifles the careers of nearly every Asian American. For anyone wanting to join, they can participate with minimal involvement by just attending the monthly meetings, or they can volunteer to be a part of a committee. You just need to care in whatever capacity you're able to. I joined APIFSA to help support my API colleagues and friends. I felt like it was really important to join in along with my uh, fellow Asian folks in, in solidarity. I want to advocate for API faculty and staff and for equity, diversity, and inclusion. This organization will be a good way for the community to learn about the history of these different cultures. Previous generations, including mine, had been reactive to the issues that we're facing now. So I would like to be a part of the proactive group. If we want to be healthy, fully functioning members of society that we feel strives for justice, then we have to make sure we're uplifting the voices of of everybody. It's also recognizing where there are tensions and how we can overcome them. I think it's a safe haven for each of us to express our thoughts, especially those of us who sometimes feel like we are the model minority. I feel that in a world that continues to grapple with race relations, it's critical and important to be part of a group with shared experiences that can support and promote one another especially in an influential university setting such as the University of Southern California. Our members have a lot of stories to share. Um, so for this, I look forward to connecting with you all. We are the Asian Pacific Islander Faculty and Staff Association. Fight on!